Welcome on in everybody. Have a seat because the trailer to Maxine is finally here. My most anticipated movie of 2024. I'm just a huge fan of Ty West's work, his passion for the genre, his passion for filmmaking just clearly comes across on screen. And I'm so excited that A24, and I just love that A24, let him put his ideas and his passion onto the screen, you know? And so I enjoyed Pearl for sure, but X was everything that I wanted it to be. One of my favorite horror movies I had seen in years. It's just, I feel like X is the perfect blend of kills, great kills, great characters, a great setting, great twists and turns. It's got funny moments. It's got emotional moments. It's got this underlying like deep, deep theme about aging to it. X was just, it, it was incredible. It was everything that I wanted and I absolutely loved it. So when they announced Maxine and we got hints that Maxine was gonna be coming set in the 80s to continue this story after X, I was sold right away. Sold right away. So I'd been looking forward to seeing just a glimpse of what they're gonna do in Maxine um, for a long time. And the trailer is finally here. So let's watch it and I'm gonna react to it and, uh, and review it and give you my thoughts on it. So let's start the trailer in three, two, one. So, Maxine, your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment, is that correct? I'm curious, did you always want to be in that line of work? I always wanted to be famous. If you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. I know she lines. turns to the camera and through her trauma, addresses the lens directly. 1985. Name five celebrities bands. who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and... Maxine fucking Minx. I don't like walking out here with a freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker. It's terrorizing Los Angeles. I can handle myself. So said every bad girl in Hollywood. Maxine, I'm the private detective. I had to find you. My employer is a very powerful man. The past ain't finished with you. It's gonna keep knocking at your door. Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. I knew three people who were murdered in three days. I'd be pretty scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? If I tell you something, we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? This is the dividing line of your career. What was going on in your life that's interfering with this picture? Squash it. I intend to. Maxine! 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 Maxine. You're a fucking movie star. Okay, we've got a lot to talk about there. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. All right. So the cast, clearly in incredible. It's going to be so good. This just feels bigger than X and Pearl. I'm sure the budget is was way bigger than those. X felt pretty cinematic and pretty like, pretty like, like a spectacle in a lot of ways. X did because it had a lot of cast members, some faces we recognize and a lot of go a lot of things going on. Pearl seemed a little bit more contained, a little bit more of like an intimate movie. Um, but this seems bigger. Yeah, bigger. More locations, more characters, more things going on with the story. So we're following this Night Stalker serial killer as well. That's going to be interesting. So Mia Goth is trying to break into Hollywood. She's escaped kind of everything that happened in X. Took off. Now she's in Hollywood trying to get roles. There's also this Night Stalker serial killer going on. There's also a moment there in the trailer that I noticed um, they were kind of starting to realize that Maxine 
might have like a dark backstory, which will be interesting because they say, um, you know, if three of your friends were killed, wouldn't you be a little bit more shaken up? So she's going to have a few friends killed by the Night Stalker. It's looking, and this is great news, it's looking like it's going to have that X feel to it for sure all these different locations and settings. It's going to be bloody. Pearl really wasn't until the very end. But this looks like it's going to be bloody. We're going to get some great kills. Kevin Bacon's in it. Kevin Bacon's playing this private investigator who it sounds like was hired by somebody rich and powerful to track her down. But why would a rich and powerful person want to track her down? Huh? It's interesting. Because they want to figure out, okay, you bailed what, after everything that happened in X. Like, what happened with that whole situation? So I'm interested to see what happens with that. Are we going to get some, some kills that happen on different sets for movies or TV shows that she's either casted for or auditioning for? Maybe that's going to happen. This synth score sounds like it's going to be incredible. Like I said, I know some of you might be burnt out on 80s stuff, but I, I'm, I'm down for it, for sure. But Ty West, I just love the fact that A24 tells Ty West, that's your vision, that's what you want to make, we believe in you, go and do it. Without interfering too much. Which gives us, that just gives us more movies that feel different, that feel unique that feel like a new journey, really, for horror fans and just movie fans in general. Man, if Ty West can pull this off, it'd be one of the best trilogies in a long time, in a very, very long time. I believe it's coming out July 4th weekend. I can't wait. I mean, look at the cast again. It's going to be incredible. You know Mia Goth is going to be amazing in this movie. You know the passion for horror and this genre is going to come across on screen from Ty West. You know that's going to happen. And the rest of the cast, like I said, looks incredible. They're going to bring it too. This is going to be, it's going to be, oh, don't screw this up, guys, because this, they're not, they're not. My prediction is, is like I said, this movie is going to be more similar to X. It's going to be bloody. It's going to have twists and turns. It's going it, to, there, there's going to be maybe like a little bit of a whodunit aspect to it as well, it sounds like. I can't wait. It's going to be a hell of a summer. So excited. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments down below how excited you are for Maxine on a 1 to 10 scale. I'd love to hear how excited you are. Thanks for watching again. Make sure you subscribe if you're into horror content like this. Plenty of horror content around here on this channel. And everybody, I'm so excited. That was a great trailer. But thanks so much. Really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you in the next one.